going on guys greg here i got a uh, another video for you today this is a seven chambers vestige hilt um <clears throat> this is probably gonna be a quicker video because it's also a reveal for a friend um <clears throat> and i'm sick so sorry if i'm, I'm <clears throat> if i'm doing that a lot during the video um but yeah so this is um a saber for my good buddy Corey. he uh He's been talking to me for a couple of years now since I've been doing this. Like, you know, man, you got to get me a saber. Uh, we got to do this. And I got this um, in a trade for service. And it's a relatively low cost hilt. So I didn't mind just kind of giving him the install and, and doing this for him. So, Gore, this is your basic saber install. Um, we have a blue, blue, white tri Cree LED with a white flash on clash. Uh, Nana Biscotti V4 soundboard. 20 20 i think it's a 20 millimeter base speaker yeah 20 um activation switch which comes with the saber uh, internal recharge port and i had actually ordered so there's two versions of this chassis one is a 0.99 outer diameter for the one inch hilt and the other one is a 0.97 for this particular hilt and i actually ordered the wrong one so i ended up filing it down and, and fitting it to place and now it moves just fine um, but so this is basically the operating instructions for you, Corey. Um, and of course, if you have any questions, you let me know, but it'll be just a, a quick rundown of what we have going on. So let me just move this out of the way. Get my stand out of the way. Okay. Um, so when you get the saber, it'll almost always be in standby mode. So nothing, not going to do anything. Um, and so what you want to do to operate the saber is very simply you want to unscrew the pommel it's the only part of the saber that comes off uh, and there is your recharge port and your uh your speakers in there as well and so all you want to do is this recharge port is or this kill key is actually a twist kill key so you can just twist it and leave it in place um, while you're using the saber so you don't lose it and if you do lose it it's okay i have more so in order to boot up the saber you just want to twist it until you feel it loose So that means your saber's on and good to go. Um, you want to screw your pommel back on. There you go. I said tight. Um, when you shake it, there is a rattling, but that's because it's a switch. Because the switch basically has like this top piece that it, it moves kind of like a like a disc. Um, so that moves if you wanted it to. Um, but yeah, so after that, it's really simple. Um, just press the power on. And press and hold to turn off. Simple as that. So, oops. On, off. Um, and then the only thing you have to worry about is changing between sound fonts. And all you do is you actually have two options. So you have three sound fonts. And you can either go to a mute mode with the saber where you press and hold until the first beep and let go. If you do that, you can use the saber in mute mode. Or you can press and hold till the second beep. Hello there. And this is just a, a random Obi-Wan Kenobi font. Excuse me. And that's how you change sound fonts. So I'm going to do it again. Press and hold for two beeps. There's been an awakening. Have you felt it? Yes. And like I said, that is it. Um, so I'm going to toss a blade in. So, right, so you see these three holes this is for a cover tech wheel which you don't have for the saber um, we can always get you one it's a way to carry it on your belt uh this the bottom screw you never want to loosen because that holds your led in place and if you take that out then your led falls out and then we have to fix it and we don't want to do that so using the provided allen key which you'll have with it you want to put it in here, to the top one, and loosen it, which it was already loose. Blade, 
in. This is just a dummy blade. Once you do that, you want to tighten it. Tighten it. And only thumb tight. Don't don't crank it in because if you do that, like I mean, that was thumb tight and it's it's in. Um, if you crank it, you're gonna strip the hole and then you have to drill a new one, and that just again gets annoying to do. So thumb tight. That's all you need. Just just that. So and once you do that, it's normal. That's it. So that is your basic saber operation. Um, like I said, I wanted to keep it a really short video. It's um, a really simple hilt, a really hip, simple install, so no need to get into all the details. Um, but Corey, this is for you. I hope that you love it. I hope that um, hope you don't break it, and I hope that uh, I don't know. Like I said, I hope you like it, man. So uh, thanks, guys, and I will talk to you later.